Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week on the big table, I'd like to make some progress on the repairs for this that I started last week. Actually finished getting that piece prepped so I can start on it. And swinging around to the smalls table, get this mailed out to the client because it's finished and finish these three smalls. Then once I finish smalls like this, I have to do an inventory and all that update, all that paperwork type stuff as well. I've made a little progress on this stepping stone, the repairs. I've completely removed this piece that was broken, completely removed the greenery there that was broken. There might be a little bit of silicone I still need to get out of there. And this one I have completely removed, the red, completely removed this black piece. And all these pieces have not yet been repaired uh, or the glue has not been removed, but all the pieces are here for this part of the repair. I need to figure out how I'm going to do the water because it's going to have to be different than it was before. And I've saved these pieces so that I can go into my studio and see if I can match them. So that's the next step, matching them. The first one that I'm going to try to match is this bright green. I already had this bin sitting out from where my son was working on it. Pretty quickly I can tell that this green is going to work. This red is next and again it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. I believe this one is going to work. Oops, looks like a perfect match. I find this blue piece that was a part of the roof on that mosaic. I am going to my scrap bins. I've got blue here, but this one I can probably find something in, a blue-green, so that's where I'll start. This bin is overflowing, and I can tell it's going to take a little bit of digging to see if I can find a match. So here I go. I found something close, but it's a little bit too translucent, so I'm going to keep digging. Jackpot, I found it in this bin. This is the glass. Now I just have to make sure that it is going to fit I, because this is the only piece that's really very big. I have to make sure, but I think this will work. Awesome, I have to put all that back. This is where that piece came from and this is the amount of glass I have. So it's the perfect amount. I will end up making a little template and then transferring it to the glass and cutting it that way so I have a, uh, an exact match. several bushes here in my front that my husband gifted to me. I don't know the varieties because I didn't ever pay attention to it when I was planting them, but I wanted all different colors and that's what I got. This is the only one that's a different variety, maybe a ground cover type one, and I think I might move it and plant a different one here. This one's one or two blooms, but it's more of a peachy pink. I just love it. I love to come out. Oh, I have this Rose of Sharon here too. I'd love to come out and deadhead in the shady morning. Oh no, this one's yellow. There's no blooms on it right now. Um, and then I have a red. And one more, a pink one here. So I really enjoy them. I've had some issues I'm trying to take care of, some leaf issues, but I've been fertilizing and trying to keep them watered. So doing much, much better than they were.
I started this piece in class as, so I would have another demo for my students and I want to go ahead and finish it this week at home so that next week I can demonstrate how to grout. Now I have three classes and I'll only be able to demonstrate how to grout on one of them, but maybe I'll make another, I'm not sure, so I can demonstrate to the other students. Here it is all finished. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and grout this because I also finished these and I can bring these to class to do the grouting demonstration. this roof again and I looked at it and noticed that this curve is almost perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and instead of making a template I'm going to do my favorite thing which is eyeball it. Well, it's better to make it a little bit bigger and then cut it down. Start with that. Here it is again. I'm just gonna score it there and score it here. a bit too big and that's good. I'd rather have it be a bit too big than a bit too small. So I'm just going to be nipping it to fit and then just going back and forth, nipping, seeing how it fits. So this line and this line are pretty good. I'm going to work on that back diagonal. That looks pretty good and then now I'm going to go along the bottom. This is a repair. I probably will go ahead and grind this to make it smooth from all the nipping. A little bit off this corner and it should fit. I'd like to point out that I've already fixed these two green ones and glued them in place. Just a few more. This one was much easier. Cut it, it fits. is in the black there's the adhesive stick that in there that one's good to go and yay just have to grout now and that's putting it together see you next time